You might have noticed tiny little trucks hitting the streets here in the U.S. Their steering wheels are on the wrong side, they're smaller than Miatas, but more useful than most of our homegrown vehicles. What are they, and where did they come from? We should start off with some vocab. When I say K-car, I don't mean the 80s Chrysler platform. This is a K-car. K, spelled K-E-I, is a Japanese classification of car dating back to the late 1940s. In 1949, following the end of the Second World War, Japan wanted to focus on rebuilding their industry. One of these industries they wanted to grow was the automotive industry, which was nearly non-existent at the time. The issue was money. Cars are expensive. Most Japanese families could only afford a motorcycle at the time. Because of this, the government made a classification of vehicle to bridge that gap, a motorcycle priced car. This started the K-car class. There were rules, of course. The engine could only be 150 cc's or less, and the dimensions had to be under 9.2 feet in length and 3.3 feet in width. As time went on, these restrictions grew to where the modern K cars can have up to 660 cc engines and they can be 11.2 feet long and 4.9 feet wide. Owning a K car also has a bunch of monetary benefits. They're cheaper to register, they come with tax breaks, and some places even have special cheaper parking just for K cars. Around 2014, the Japanese government reduced these benefits drastically, but you still get some reduction for owning the small cars. K cars come in all shapes and sizes. Well, not all sizes, they're pretty small. But there's plenty to pick from. There's vans, trucks, hatchbacks, and even sporty roadsters. When referring to K cars, it's important to know your ABCs. A is for B is for C is for Those are the three most popular K cars. They're sporty, fun, and pocket-sized, which us Americans find fascinating. If someone says that they love K cars, it's probably one of those three. But why are we seeing more and more K trucks in America? Well, there's two main reasons. Here in the United States, we have a 25-year import law for personal vehicles. You can import any vehicle you want, no matter the make, model, or region of origin, as long as it's 25 years or older. There are many reasons why it's specifically 25 years, but maybe that's a topic for a future video. K vehicles hit their stride in the 1990s. They were mostly fuel injected, and they were allowed to have the 660cc engines after 1990. The 1990s, although as much as some of you don't want to admit it, happened now over 25 years ago, tons of quality, fantastic trucks are now eligible to import. We have small pickups available here. Most of them are Gators or Razors or what have you. They're basically golf carts on steroids, but they're super useful on farms and in the country. The problem is most places don't allow them on the road, and the places that do allow them on the road make it a real headache to register. They're also not built to sustain highway speeds. Overall, they're too big of a heartache to drive in the real world. Take for instance this Polaris Ranger, a two-seater vehicle with a rear truck bed. If I configure this 2023 model to have what a K truck would have, as in doors, a roof, front and rear glass, mirrors, a heater, and a radio, the MSRP is over $9. $19,000. For a vehicle, you still can't legally drive on the road. So then let's look at some K-Truck prices. Sure, these prices are before import to the US, so double that price in your head, you're still nowhere near the price of the new Polaris. Here are a couple that are for sale at the time of making of this video that are already here in the US ready to be picked up. Interesting, none of them are $19,000. Factor in the fact that most of them have four or five speed transmissions and can be driven on the road legally, it all starts to make sense. 
Over the last few years, I've noticed more and more out and about in the world. From snow removal to flower shops, these little workhorses are becoming a top pick for business owners and enthusiasts alike. It's a shame that we never got these originally, but due to safety restrictions from the government and the American idea that small engines are useless, they wouldn't have been allowed or sold really well. But thanks to the 25-year rule, we are now able to get these trusty little trucks in our possession. Thank you for watching my latest video essay. Sometimes I get these video ideas, they just come to me and I get obsessed. So thank you for checking out my latest fixation. If you wanna see my other video essays, you can click on them now. And if you have an idea for a future essay, please let me know in the comment section down below.